Hello. So I want to talk about some empties that I finished, um, beauty products. And the first one I want to talk about is this one right here. I finished this. It's Dennis Gross or Dr. Dennis Gross. Smooth and Flawless Peel and Moisture, 14 treatments, which I made last twice as long because I just split them up in half. comes in a little packet and you open it up and you take it out and it's like four little squares. Well, I just divided it into two squares and I used it for half the face, or not half the face, I used half of it on my whole face and I was able to get a lot out of it. I felt like the my skin changed. Um, this stuff, I don't know if I let it get too old because I let it sit a little long, but it's completely empty. It is the Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Moisture Cushion. It's oil-free moisturizer. Sometimes I feel like it made me have too much moisture, if that makes any sense. But it it didn't break me out um, that I remember. I just remember I was really oily when I woke up in the mornings. I would only do this step at night. And I'd do a different uh, cream in the day. But I really like this. This is worth the money. It's kind of pricey. I got it with a gift card from um, from Sephora. And I was able to enjoy this. So the next item that I want to talk about is the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap Oily Skin Formula. This formula is awesome. It's an awesome face wash. It's very mild. Um, it's for combination oily to oily skin, and this is, I completely used the whole thing up. I love it. So if you're oily skinned, um, and you are on a budget, Clinique is the way to go with face wash. I think their face wash is really nice. Also, I'm going to talk about this. This was given to me in a sample, deluxe sample size. It is the Honey Drop from Pharmacy. Pharmacy, I think you can see that. And it is a really nice lightweight moisturizer. The smell was pretty good. It's not too floral. It's not very heavy. It's very light. Um, I really enjoyed this moisturizer, so if you're oily, this is a great moisturizer. I think it says, yeah, lightweight moisturizer combining echinacea, green envy honey, triple hy hyaluronic acid complex, and butter beads. I don't remember beads in there, but okay. Alright, so the next item I'm going to talk about is dun dun dun. This guy right here. This guy is so great. Um, it's the Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10. This stuff is great. So when I have pimples, outbreaks, this makes it go away faster. Um, I just put it on my outbreak and it goes away. Uh, next item, I used up a Clinique Clarifying Lotion. Uh, this is a toner. This is the number three toner. I'm not crazy about their toner. The toner's okay, but it's, it, I can't say it doesn't work. Um, I like it. One thing that I prefer over the Clinique, the Clinique number three lotion is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic. This stuff, I'm almost out of. The only thing is, is it costs 15 bucks for this bottle. I can get a much bigger bottle, two times the size of this, with Murad for like, I think it's like $19 or 20 bucks. I don't remember. But in Clinique, you can get a bigger bottle for like 20 bucks. Same thing. And it's like double or triple the amount of the Murad. But this Pixie Tonic stuff is really good. I really like it. It doesn't sting. It doesn't smell bad. It's just a really nice, refreshing. It feels 
makes your face feel fresh. I don't know how to explain it. I really like this one. So if you're at Target, look for the Pixie Tonic or the Pixie Glow Tonic. And it's, I believe it's $15. Um, the next item that I want to talk about, which I really liked and I didn't think I was going to like, this one is the Sephora Micellar Cleaning Water. Um, it is very... It just takes off your makeup. It takes everything off. It's very nice. It's very... The only thing I don't like is that I have to use a couple of cotton pads. Like, I prefer just one pad. Because you gotta do one half of your face and the other half of your face. The cotton gets mushy and that's the only thing I don't like. But this stuff didn't sting my eyes. It was okay. Um, initially, when I first went in... I think I might have got a little bit in my eye, and so it did sting, but other than that, it was good. Um, the next thing is the Claudel, Claudelie, Claudelie. Um, this is really good. I really like it. I'm really sad that I'm out of it, and I know that it's expensive. You get it at Sephora. I got this as a gift for my birthday, and I finally used it from last year. And this moisturizer was really nice. Uh, I just finished using it today. And it was... It doesn't smell like anything. It just gives you moisture. And it feels more like water on your skin. If that makes any sense. But this was really nice. Um, I really liked it. And I also liked the oil that... The serum that came with it. It was a little birthday set gift that I got for free from Sephora. So go into Sephora and check out what the birthday gift is. So you go in and you have a whole month to pick it up on your birthday month and you get to try either skincare or makeup and it's really cool. Yes, go sign up. I'm not sponsored but I should be, huh? Um, the next item that I'm going to talk about is Beautiful Day. Uh, this is by Bath and Body Works. It's a shower gel. I really like this shower gel. Um, but I like Hello Beautiful a little bit more. This one... That one smells good. Um, it smells like a beautiful day. No, no, I don't know what it smells like. Um, the notes in it are... Sun-kissed apple, sparkling cassis, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. Those are the notes in there. If you're looking for a new scent that's not too overpowering, that's more fresh, um, go for Beautiful Day. If you're looking for something with a little bit of a floral to it, just a tiny bit of floral smell, go with um, Hello Beautiful. I really like that one. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is Avon Skin So Soft Stress Relief Aromatherapy Body Wash. Um, this one is really nice. Sorry, I'm looking at the dogs. They're outside. <laughs> um, I let them out really quick. And I can see them. They're not destroying the lawn. That's the most important part. Anyway, back to this. This was really good. It I did feel a little less stressed out. I guess I felt more relaxed is the word. Relaxed after using this. Especially on days where I was stressed out. Um, the scent to it is like a, like a green tea kind of smell. Let's see. What does it say it has? It doesn't say... Eucalyptus. That's what it is. It's got eucalyptus in it. So eucalyptus is supposed to be for de-stressing. Um, next item I'm going to talk about this milk mascara. Now, at first I wasn't mad at it. I thought it was okay. And then I thought, mm, I don't know. I think I prefer another mascara over this. Now the reason... So you think... And it's really weird because it kind of squishes the mascara wand. I don't know if you guys can see that. It like clumps it together. It's got three balls on here. I think it's more of a gimmicky tool. 
Anyway, I would steer clear from the milk mascara because I found when I was trying to get into the corners, the ball like got into the socket here and it poked me. And I mean, it was great for the ends, but the inner corner was kind of hard with this. Um, oh, these from Target, the cotton pads, the Up and Up brand. I do not like this up and up brand of cotton. The cotton kind of mushes and falls apart. It's really, really weird. I don't know how to describe it, but pass on that. I just prefer the cotton at the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree. Much, much better quality. I know that's weird, but it is what it is. Um, the next item I have is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer Sample. This is amazing and it's expensive is heck is expensive but if you get a chance to try it for free get a little sample um they usually hook you up with a sample that lasts you for a few days usually anywhere from four to seven days um so take advantage of that Next one is a Tint Ado Ultra Wear 24 Hour Makeup by Lancome. I really did like this sample of uh, Lancome. It was a really nice foundation. I think the foundation shade was a great. I was 380 bisque. That was really nice. And then I tried the Double Wear Tawny um, by Estee Lauder, a little sample. And that, I'm wearing this today. This sample is done. I went and I got myself a bottle. Um, I really like it. It is really good quality foundation. Sometimes it does kind of come up if you don't put it all right, like layer it correctly, then you'll, you're going to have like spots or places that you miss foundation. It's very pigmented and you can see where you don't put it on. That's the only bad thing about this foundation. Like it doesn't totally blend into the skin. So if you wanna cover up a section, you have to cover up everything. So like from your jawline, you wanna cover down here too. So it all blends into your neck. I don't know how else to explain that, but anyway. Um, I have one more item, and that is this candle that I got from Walmart. It's by Yankee Candle. It's American Home. It smells really good. It was an apple, fresh apple, and it isn't as strong as like Bath and Body Works candles, but it's still nice, and I think it was only like, I want to say five bucks. So, and it lasted me a good long while. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.